Previously on The Potentialists. We have to change our state. Tell us how positive you are. You. I believe we work great under pressure. What? You give me attitude? I'm not giving you attitude. I don't work all that well under pressure. Finding things that bother people and just tick tock. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. This house can be absolutely dead quiet, and in an instant, you'll have 15 people sitting around a table, eating, joking around, hanging out. Typical day here. Hello. We got Serge and Sabrina and Roger. Roger with his new hairdo, and as yeah. it do, we got Eric, who likes to touch people's hair. <laughs> you like that? You like that? Yeah. Then over here we got LJ, who's Hello. always eating. What I love about them the most is that they're spontaneous. You never know who, what, when, and how many people are so up. Then over here we got Susie, who's always cooking. No, I'm eating today. And we got Victor and Valerie over here. We have Matthew and Zach. Hello. Hello. Where are you guys from? Belize. Belize. So Dr. D was in town and we decided that we should start planning for Belize 2014. We have to prepare for the tour. Is that what we're doing right now? That's what we're doing. So you want to get the it's view. the end yeah, of man. February. Is it still high season in Chakri? So one of the things that we were planning was to make sure that we go to the cities or villages or towns that we didn't uh, visit in 2013. We're coming from the Keys and go back to Belize City. And then you're gonna stay in Placenta right through until the 23rd. You have to do a Maya homestay. You have to go and drink cacao champagne and, and stuff in the farms and, and you know do all of that stuff. I have a really great friend who's a who's a tour guide there. He can take you on all the touring and everything in that era. Yes. What? Oh. Yes. The blue one? Which one? The, the roadside one? No, the diving one. Well, that's why you have the 89 and 90 pie. Okay. All right, just making sure. I got it. It's going to be my third time there and still no blue hole. <laughs> now we have the song, we have the creed. For them to log in and see videos. Mm -hmm. So we'll have ongoing stuff and support that we wanted to do the first time, but we won't prepare. We're preparing this stuff now. I'm really excited to go back to Belize because one, I love to travel, and two, that's actually my first Caribbean country I've ever been to. And the people that are there, you almost can't believe the hospitality, the sincerity, the niceness of people out there. It's, it, was, it was really unbelievable. Traveling across the country of Belize, you meet a lot of people, you touch a lot of lives, you get a lot of hugs. The preparation for the glass walk was such an emotional thing because the people that were there... We'll do it. One more foot. You ready? Put your first foot down. I won't get caught. I won't get caught. <laughs> He's actually the first kid in Belize to walk in glass. Oh, wow. yeah. wow. And the amount of people that we touched, that we saw, that we spoke to. It opens you up in a way that's so unexpected. Mr. Oliva. This yeah. auditorium right here was only one of the events. What are you going to do? Yeah. North to south to east to west, we went everywhere. Another fun thing from Belize, we went to a prison. And we might be going again, I've been told. I don't really remember any much of the faces because I was trying not to look directly at the prisoners because that scared me. These people are really, really, really serious. Psychotic killers, rapists, rapists and then killers and stuff like that. Truly amazing and uh, I really can't wait to go back. And I'm excited about our next tour because we're going to hit new places. So that's just new people to me. People there are just so humble and you know what, I, I love Belize. Everyone is just so nice, uh, very hospitable, they were uh, very welcoming. I just, I can't wait for the next tour. Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Boa World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?